Speaking of hate. Okay. Okay. Something you want to say, Chris? Los Angeles. Oh, oh okay. I've finally been to the City of Lights, whatever it's called. Angels. City of Angels. I've had the yeah, City of Disappointment and lots of fucking traffic mm -hmm. and yeah. awful. Actually, the food's good and the people are good. I'll get, I, I think the people of LA are really oh, friendly, really nice. Oh. Really? Don't know why everyone's so surprised. Oh. It's a little bit worrying. You guys have been there a lot more than I have. I mean, I think, the, I think a lot of. Uh, I guess people I interact with are pretty nice, but I get a very mm. sterilized view of it, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I like the people <clears throat> that I know there. I mean, the content creators, but the general vibe I get of LA is that it's a- uh, Every man for themselves. It's very superficial. <laughs> a lot of ways. Just yeah. like In-N-Out Burger. Yeah. <laughs> God, it was shit. Well, I mean, good, people are like, yeah. you have to get the In-N-Out Burger, dude. It's amazing. I went there and I got the French fries. No, the French fries are shit. Right? Yeah. And then they tasted like cardboard, tasted mm, like yeah. something yeah. Mm. out of a bookshop. And like, I was like, what is this? Why do people praise the chips? And they're like, you, you got the wrong fries, dude. They're animalistic yeah. fucking yeah, dickens yeah, fries. Animal fries. And I was like, <laughs> animalistic <laughs> fries. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, you know, when you go to a fucking burger restaurant, you just want fries. I don't want like the secret special order. Well, yeah, they, right? I think because the fries are just so bad. What's the order? What's it got to be? Animal, 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 style. animal, animal style fries. Animal yeah. style. But the the, the right. reason why I guess it's it's kind of revered is that it's like you can get the double burger for like what five bucks. Mm. So it's like a really good price for a solid Valley burger. Money. Yeah, because like you, you know, obviously it's not as good as like Five Guys, but Five Guys is like I've three times the price. I mean, yeah. Five Guys is basically restaurant prices. Mm, mm, mm. They they charge a ridiculous amount. And but then those fries, but they sat, the yeah, fries those Cajun good. fries, those Cajun Woo! fries, man. Sheesh. Oh, good. Yeah, oh, good. Um, yeah, it was it was a really trippy city. When I did the chess boxing, I stayed in downtown LA. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a bit, you know, it is a bit like Mad Max. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. GTA. I, I got out the taxi after you know a long twelve hour flight, whatever it is, and like yeah, there was. It's just a man running naked down the middle of the road going, Wah! and I was like, yep. yeah. LA, yeah. 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 Sounds about right. Did you Skid Row? Uh, near it. I was staying, I think, two or three blocks from it. Um, oh, gosh. You know. that's, right. that's, that's where it's like, <laughs> that's where yeah. it's like kind I, of know, scary. Yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of issues going on there. Mm. But, but um, yeah, I know Gant's been wanting to grill me on the chess boxing. Every time I, mean, I see a clip of Gant, like, I was so disappointed in Chris. I, I, I feel like I let you down, Gant, with you, the chess you, boxing. You didn't let me down. I was, it. I, and you know, I got tilted for you. You know, I, you know, we, you know, I was tuning into the chess boxing to cheer on my bro, cheer on my man, and you were doing so well. You had this point where you were about to win, and then you had a point where you could have like checkmated or ended the game. And then, and then you threw away your queen. <laughs> yeah. you, literally the worst mistake. You literally, you literally went from a winning position to uh, throwing away your queen, and I was just like, "What a fuck up!" <laughs> yeah, it's really annoying in the chess boxing fight. Like the 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 real time chess board that all the viewers, everyone was watching, is yeah. kind of broken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, see what it was, I was doing? It was a little bit behind. And I was the first two rounds. I was doing really well. Like I pinned the yeah, queen yeah, in the corner, yeah. and I was being really fast. And mm. my tactic was to try and move really quickly and get like a minute ahead. Yeah. Right. And by the second round of chess, that's where I was at. But like, I sort of shot myself in the foot because every one who I told that I was doing the boxing stuff, they were like, everyone has a plan to they get punched in the face. I was like, fuck off. I think I know what I'm doing. And then I got hit in the face. <laughs> Very hard. On the on the second round, I got hit in the face. And right. have you ever been hit in the face? Yeah, yeah. You probably have. Yeah. <laughs> why, are you, why are you fucking fighting? Like, your brothers, you always fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have actually, yeah. Where? Huh? Where? Uh, at a house party oh, when I was uh, 18 years old. I, yeah, I just, I got just got in a fight uh, with uh, someone who was like really, really fucking drunk and just looking for a fight. Uh, Is this at, in Brighton? Yeah, this was uh, in Brighton. Mm. Uh, and- uh, <laughs> What is this? We're like, we're going to fight. Group of them, <laughs> group of them started on a few mates of mine uh, and then one of them threw a punch and then just a fight ensued. And that's the only fight I've ever been a part of. Oh. And. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. good. Well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, how did it feel? Did you enjoy? It? Didn't did, did feel you great. Enjoy it? Uh, did it <laughs> release the anger. Do it again. <laughs> release the anger. This is how you became got, a monk. Got, yeah. Actually, after that, I was like, you know what? Maybe being a monk is a bad thing. I have no enemies. Actually, violence <laughs> <laughs> is overrated. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that was like I remember the first time getting punched in, like getting probably punched in the face, mm -hmm. and this was like not even in a controlled environment. Mm -hmm. This was just straight up just getting punched in the face. Uh, you you have that you know I had the moment like you you basically get stun locked you're just yeah. like you feel it and then you don't feel the pain you just feel like the shock of it happening yeah, you get it's like just adrenaline too yeah you get, you get the adrenaline rush mm -hmm. and you just I just remember being punched in the face and I just like holy shit 
what the fuck just happened? It's exactly. like the, it's like the flashbang yeah. in COD. Yeah, know? yeah, it's exactly. Like, it's it's a yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, oh. exactly. You're just, you're just like stun locked. I, yeah. I, 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 I never forgot that feeling of like being punched for the first time. Cause mm. you just like, you know, you, you forget like what just happened. You're like, oh, I just got punched in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you start punching back. You know? I mean, it only happened to me when I was 14. I was making fun of some guy's bike. It was, like <laughs> it was the most mundane fight. Yeah. Some guy turned up who I hated. And he had a bike called a Mongoose Prey. And I was like, mate, your bike's shit. And he's like, what did you say? I was like, uh, Mongoose Prey. And he punched me. And that was, the, <laughs> that was the only fight I'd had pre 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, yeah, I, when I. <laughs> <laughs> Your bike is shit. <laughs> boom, boom. That's Sorry, like did you, did that you punch like, him back or what? I did punch him back yeah. in the face, yeah. That Mongoose Pro bike, what a bell end. Anyway, <laughs> Mongoose Pro aside. Uh, yeah, so I signed up for the chess boxing because Connor made me do it. it no, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I never, I said uh, you wouldn't do it. And then I think you took it. The only reason I did it is because Connor said, oh, he won't do it, you're a loser. <laughs> and I was like, I'll show that, Connor. <laughs> so, and then Ludwig was like, yeah, you want to do it, bro? I was like, yeah, all right. And that was the main reason, just to, to spike Connor. Well, and glad, also I'm part glad. of the fitness chair. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I thought your you were fight on a powered journey. you to exercise. Yeah. <laughs> it did, yeah. And honestly, like the, the boxing training was relentless and great. But I, I was training with Nick, and I you've met Nick. I might know. I don't know if you got you guys know Nick. Mm. He's the he he was in the boxing ring. He's kind of like oh my okay okay. Oh yeah, yeah. He's a former K1 kickboxing champion right. of Japan. He fought like in the in the Tokyo Dome in the early 2000s, and it was watched by like 50 million people. Damn. He's a real celebrity in Japan. But he is like Gaston out of the in the beast. <laughs> His arms are like- Without, without the baggage, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he eats like a thousand eggs a day. Yeah. His arms are yeah. like the size of Spain. They are And huge. they're massive. And if he yeah. hits you, as he did training, like, we, so I would spar with him a few times a week um, and he hit me in the face and like, it, everything just sort of went white for a second. Was it, was it really scary? I imagine yeah, it was fucking put, scary. Put I've never been, I've never had that before. Yeah. And it wasn't even a big hit by his standards. Mm. But again, when he's super trained to do this, yeah, he, he's, just sort of, in the he's face like, okay, to, okay, yeah. I'm going to hit you now. You ready? I was like, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm like, I was like, whoa, I'm actually quite scared now. It's like, you know, when you get hit like that, your whole brain sort of rocks a little bit. Mm, yeah. And this white flash, which is something I'd never experienced before, right? I'd right. never had that white flash brain thing damage. stuff. <laughs> brain damage. Yeah. <laughs> Concussion. Apart from watching a C-Dog VA video. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I'd never had that and I was yeah. like, oh, f what the fuck have I done? It was yeah. too, at this point it was like November. You can't yeah. back out. One month yeah. out. Oh, and did you want to like, it was part I didn't of back like, out, oh, but yeah. I was like, has, maybe this was a bad decision <laughs> to do this fight, having no f actual experience. Yeah. But I was against that German dude. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Do you remember? Uh, it was a German Papa, streamer. Papa, Papa Platt or something. Papa Platt, yeah. Papa Platt. And, and then while he was training, and I, I always thought I could take it. Like he was a bit taller than me, but he was quite skinny. Yeah. Um, and I think we would have been on par with chess, or maybe he would have been a little bit better on chess. Yeah. But then he burst his eardrum training. Yeah, training. So he hit him in the ear, ear got blown up, and he was like, I can't fight now. Yeah. I was like, oh, mm. shit. Is the it was crazy. The people and also like there was out. someone else before Papa Platt um, who I was going against and he had to pull out for other health reasons. So mm. it's just like, God doesn't want me to fight. That's yeah. I think it's pretty common though that a lot of these these events are like 50% of the fighters or not a little less than that, but end up pulling out for concussions yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. it is. Just cause, yeah, yeah, and there was a few injured. in the run up to that one. Like, mm. Yeah, there was a lot of people who pulled out. And uh, so I was like, oh, maybe <coughs> God let me off the hook here. And then like, don't worry, we've brought in a black belt in Jiu Jitsu. I was like, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, yeah. it was very. I got uh, stitched up like a bell. End. <laughs> uh, like when, when, when obviously when you came out, I saw after the fact, but because obviously I was I was up there with you, but everyone yeah. was like, "Rip, rip, Chris, rip." <laughs> did, did you see like the Twitch chat re replay at all? I d yeah, I did watch it back. So I came yeah. out with um, uh, Nick and Pete and Connor were cheering, and I was like, yeah. you know, I was like, hey, there's like fucking fifty thousand people there, mm, five hundred thousand yeah. watching yeah. online. It was a really cool moment actually. Yeah. That was like the highlight of like last year for me. Yeah. Walk, that walkout, yeah. and then. I, I was really cocky. I was like, hey, I got a box of Hershey's and smashed it over my leg and threw it into the crowd. <laughs> I was like, ah, and and then he came, he comes out to some like fucking terrifying soundtrack yeah. from like a horror film. Yeah. So like sirens. And then I yeah, I, I saw that it was a pole and it was like, is Chris gonna die? I was like, <laughs> he, he, ninety five percent say yes. He looked very muscular. And I think yeah, that he, was he's always, he's obviously someone who had uh, you know worked out and had fitness as a huge part of his. 
is like. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, you know, as for me as a viewer watching it with <laughs> Twitch chat, <laughs> like like there were a lot of abroad in Japan fans in chat cheering you on. You came out first, and everyone's like, "Yo!" Everyone's like being supportive. The hope yeah, was yeah. high. Yeah. Just like you got it. And then there was just like one fucking shot of your opponent yeah. walking out, and I think that was just like collective. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, well, it's been a good run, boys. Uh, get the body bag ready. <laughs> I, like, uh, we were actually a similar weight. He was, he's a bit taller and he had big arms, but because right. my legs are like tree trunks. <laughs> but my, well, you know, my muscles are in my legs, which is not overly useful. They're a like boxing match. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, kickboxing might have been a different thing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but I was still like, ah, you know, I can take him. He's fine. Mm, yeah. And then we had the chess match, the first round, and it was going really well. I was. I was really up on time, which yeah. is my strategy. I was like, if yeah. I fuck my queen, which I actually thought I might mm, under right. stress, <laughs> at least I'd be like a minute up, right? Yeah. yeah. And then I went to the first match and he, and it's just really weird. It's really hard to explain what it's like being in a ring with 20,000 people, whatever it was around. But like, you, you forget they're all there because the bright lights are on your face, yeah. right? And all yeah. you can see is him. And in between, you can sort of see in the distance, Connor and the audience going, like that, because uh, I can see every shoulder. But like, yeah, I, I, just this moment where I, I saw him like focusing on me, about to hit me, and I was like, "What the fuck have I done? <laughs> Why am I here? What is this? Like, I really stitched myself up. My past self really fucked me. Like, when, you, when you're looking at someone, you're like, I'm about to get hit in front mm. of like half a million people. Yeah, like that's yeah. when it's like, yeah. what have I done? Like, the moments later, cocky fucking Hershey's throwing it into the crowd, yeah. and now it's like I could like get knocked out or yeah. die in front of everyone. Do you think you're just not like, a, was that like a weird thing for you to have to do to like lock on to someone and be like, I got to punch this guy. Yeah, because when I was training with Nick, we didn't really spar properly. Yeah, like we, yeah we were right. hitting each other, but I never had a, and this is my fault. I didn't put enough time into it. I really didn't train that much for the boxing as much as I should have. Yeah. Oh, I trained okay. on the fitness front, right? For stamina. Yeah. And I suppose that's one good thing in the chess boxing. I survived. I made it to round three. Yeah. Yeah. It takes so much energy to keep mm. moving and dodging and blocking, throwing punches. And um, but I had never fought anyone before, mm. really. Mm. And yeah. I couldn't fight Nick because he was too big <laughs> and I could not have won. So that was really my first actual fight, sparring practice mm. or not, mm. right. yeah, a lot which of was the, a spectacular error. A lot of the other <laughs> YouTubers, whatever, that did it. that They uh, really went for it. Yeah. That, that I had, had at least enjoyed it and really liked it were like, yeah, sparring was everything. Like if they, they were yeah. sparring so much mm. and that really allowed them to kind of get a lot better at boxing. And I, th I think being, like you mentioned, just have, being prepared to be beaten up essentially yeah. is mm. a, seems like a hard thing to do. And uh, you know that's why a lot of people get injured. Oh before, fuck yeah! Fuck like, yeah, 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 yeah. match just yeah. because of how hard oh. they're going inspiring. But I'm I'm the sort of person that's always like, oh, I'll do the homework tomorrow. And that's the next <laughs> yeah. hand in date, and you're like, oh shit, I'm fucked now. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a bit like that with the boxing. I was like, oh, yeah. oh I'll spar tomorrow. And then <laughs> yeah, you yeah. still won technically. Yeah, you still won. I did, but like, yeah, when it, but in that first match when he locked on and he got that first punch, I got really stunned. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, mm. oh my yeah, it fuck. It did look like when he landed the first hit on you that you were like, oh Panic. shit, I'm gonna, I gotta figure something out. Yeah. yeah. And the plan was basically trying to just keep avoiding or blocking or dodging. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know. mean, honestly, legitimate strategy if you know you're not gonna be able to outbox him. Yeah. Just, I, just, I didn't think I could outbox him. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, he clearly had experience. Yeah. But the, the, so the second round of chess, I started moving up and I actually had a plan of attack, blocked his queen in. I was like, oh, he's king rather. And I was like, I could actually win this, wrap this up in the second round. Right. And then it got to the end of the second round and I was two, three moves away from executing the plan. And then the time was up and I was like, no. And then I went back in, got absolutely, back onto the battlefield. absolutely <laughs> obliterated and punched in the face over and over. And by the time I came back, I was like, oh, oh, cause your heart's going like, yeah, yeah like yeah, that. Yeah. You've, your head's a bit like, oh. And like, I sort of just went, uh, that one there. And I fucking <laughs> did the wrong one. But I guess that's the difficulty <laughs> Yeah, that's just boxing, right? Is that you have to manage all that stress yeah, level. Yeah. And... But if you watch it, luckily I, I don't go, because I still felt like oh, I might be able to win because I right. looked at the timer and there was a minute up. Mm. And it's another thing that's really weird, you're wearing the headphones, right? Yeah. So you can't hear the audio. They don't really help that much. They, they don't help. You're listening <laughs> to fucking yeah. Beethoven while you're having a stroke. Yeah. And it's like, I having a heart attack, a stroke, and listening to Beethoven all at once while playing chess and getting beaten up. Well, yeah, when I, when I was wearing them, I could easily hear the crowd. Exactly. Right. And I could hear like the moment I fucked everyone, like, yeah. the move. Ooh. Before he even retaliated, I think everyone went, ah! and I was like, no. <laughs> but. And then in the third round, I got really angry and went a bit aggressive. But yeah, I, I, I think the thing with the chess boxing, I feel like I didn't deserve to win after I blundered the queen. Maybe it's the wrong way of looking at it. I did win after all. Um, yeah. And there were some major mistakes. Like the chess board was set up wrong when I yeah, started. Yeah. Oh, it was really? like, and really? go. 
and I was like, and I moved, and I, I think I fucked up. I made like an illegal move because the horse was in the wrong square. Oh, right. The horse and the bishop were in the wrong fucking <laughs> oh. places. Oh, oh, what the I hell's going on this. here? Are you going like? Yeah, <laughs> and they were like, oh, yeah, Shogun, I walk, walk in here. <laughs> yeah. They didn't stop it, they carried on. And yeah. then he started making some illegal moves and it all went to shit a little bit. But Yeah, it was, it was kind of weird because then I guess the illegal move allowed them to have time to kind of mm. think and then yeah. that, it was really bizarre. It was bizarre. Yeah. I guess they just didn't expect the chess level to be that bad where people would just be making illegal moves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, guess it was but, I mean, you kept your cool after you blundered the queen. Yeah. And I, yeah. That's that's the important thing in chess, mm, I guess. Did so. you do any chess practice? I did do a fair bit of chess. Yeah, okay. It was it was cool actually. I was like, one day I'll be training, mm. boxing training. Yeah. Uh, at my friend's gym over in like Yoyogi Park area, and then the next day I'll be like in Yoyogi Park with a chess trainer, and we playing in the park and stuff. It was a really cool oh, time nice. actually. I, my, my week was kind of yeah. like spread between chess and boxing, and then writing a book, and it was really really weird kind of three four months, which is why <laughs> write no videos. Yeah. You can't, <laughs> can't train to not blunder though. The blunders yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they happen at every level as well. Mm -hmm. Like even like the grandmasters sometimes blunder pieces. Well, in the last week before training, when I was doing chess, they made me like run for like 30 seconds, really intense, then sit down and play. And my God, it changes the game. Mm. Oh, like, I can imagine, yeah. You know, when your heart's racing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Really good experience. Don't regret doing it. We'll look back on it and go, wow, but I don't think I want to get hit in the face again. So like, <laughs> no more boxing. No round no two. You're, you're going out on, as yeah. a champ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before I get knocked out. Yeah. The <laughs> undefeated <laughs> champion. Undefeated chess boxing champion. Why not? You know, but well, I, I think I might carry on the boxing training without the getting fitness. hit in the yeah. face. Yeah. Fitness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fitness and, so Absolutely. I actually felt like I could defend myself in a way that I never could before, <laughs> before last year. Yeah. You know, what so. was it like in the dressing room beforehand? Were you like nervous? Uh, yeah. When did, they, when did it like hit you? It hit me. There's a, the stadiums there, right? And right. The boxing, and we had a, a suite or a room upstairs. And right. you were there in a few. Yeah, down. yeah. yeah. I, Connor's I in the big in. room with Ludwig and the team. Oh, I, I came in and out. Popped in. Every and out. now and he yeah. sort of wandered in. And was like, oh, the peasants in the small suite. <laughs> we've got we got fucking Sam smoked salmon in our suite <laughs> we, 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 and oh, champagne. Oh, and like, no, no, no. <laughs> That's because Chris was in like the zone and Nick was like was talking to you like you're about to fucking go on a Navy SEALs raid. And it, it, they were so in the zone that I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let him do the thing. Yeah, yeah. Cause Nick was like, don't you fucking dare talk to him. Don't you dare talk, be he nice to him. That, yeah. And I was like, whoa, I, think, like, I don't think he- I'm Kill him. You're not supposed to talk to your opponent. I get it, I get it. Cause I guess if it's more like, you don't even want to have an ounce of sympathy when you're trying to punch the guy. Yeah, yeah. of course. But also then today I was like, I think it's just a fun little boxing event actually. <laughs> well, that was a weird thing actually. Cause I did talk to my opponent um, over at Flow PJ beforehand and like, it humanized him a bit. I saw he's a real American person. And I was like, so when I'm fighting him, I'm like, oh, I don't actually dislike this guy. Yeah. Why do I have to hit him? <laughs> but like, he's like fucking like, like that down the, like, uh, it's really weird. You know, but, he's um, like, I am going to kill this man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it hit me when I was in that room looking down. Right. I, I did have like a, a small like panic attacky moment. I was like, mm. what the fuck have I done? Yeah. Why would you do this to yourself? It's like, you know, going, oh yeah, I'll, I'll put my feet in a blender, no problem. And then like the day arrives, the blender's there and you're like, oh, actually, I don't know if I'm going <laughs> <laughs> so in the blender. You have a core memory. That's something you'll never ever forget and you can always talk about. That's yeah. true. Like it's those kind of stuff that I think that you can always look back on and be like, I'm, it was maybe stupid or maybe crazy, but I'm glad I did it. Well, well, I'm, I'm lucky, yeah. I, honestly, I'm really lucky that I did come out without a serious injury. Well, some, mm, some yeah. people some came out did. with uh, yeah. concussions, like, re yes. reporting yeah. that they feel slower still months That's after. Bad. Yeah. That's, scary. that's why I don't know if I could advise anyone to do it really. I don't think it is worth the risk because if you mm. brain damage yourself, get a concussion, I could have written I, off half of this year if it had gone really yeah, badly. Yeah, I think a lot of people really struggle to comprehend if they're healthy and they're fit that they could ever be injured severely mm. and have like a, be punched in the head and then you're just actually just cognitively worse off mm. for it. I think it's really hard for people to think about that future self of them. The, like think about that. And they're just like, it's a cool opportunity. I want to get punched. It's like, well, hold on now. Let, let's really, let's really look into this yeah. and see, is this actually worthwhile? Yeah, like, think it, about the long term. Like right? if yeah. you came out of this, yeah, maybe you win. It's great. You got fit. You got the victory. It's great for you. But like, wh what if you, you got beaten the fuck up. You have, you have a concussion that could, that sticks with you for life. Because once yeah. you have one concussion, you have a higher chance mm, of getting another concussion. Yeah. yeah. And then who knows what kind of damage you've given yourself. It could be slower in some ways that you just don't expect. Could have taken five years off your life, maybe. You just don't know, like what oh, kind of damage. Did. 
like mm. that that could give you. Mm. I mean, the brain I, isn't the one thing you don't want to fuck around with. Yeah, absolutely. I have a lot more respect for fighters though. The discipline it takes to do all that. Mm. Mm. You know, I do have a lot of respect for people that do it. I don't know why they do it necessarily. Maybe it's that rush. There was a real rush in the ring. Mm. Oh, yeah. I can definitely see there's like that carnal rush yeah. that you get. Yeah, it was from pretty fucking cool. Being in the ring, I, knowing all eyes are on you for this moment, what you're about to do. Mm. I, nothing. I've never had a feeling like that ever. Yeah. Even being up on stage doing other things, I've never felt like that. Yeah, but that was really good. That I think is the sensation they lock onto, and why fighters yeah, enjoy sure. it so much. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it, I, from how you describe it, it definitely can feel like it can be an addicting feeling. Mm. Um, personally, I respect for you for saying yes. Uh, I don't know if I could ever do that. <laughs> no, me <laughs> neither. Know? I'm good. I like yeah. my well, brain. I, I, one year ago, I would have been like, no, mm. I'm not doing that. I will check the right set of ingredients it took mm. a bad health report it took yeah. the objective <laughs> like you know i Connor's said like cockiness. it took connor's abuse <laughs> <laughs> and bullying it, it took like i, I before I even knew chess boxing was a thing yeah. you know i was like i'm gonna be the fittest i've ever been by the end this year mm. so when yeah. ludwig brought it up and connor brought it up it was like okay this yeah. is the one way to make this happen i was just looking yeah. vicariously through you because i wish i could do it well you did <laughs> get slapped in the face yeah yeah so, but yeah. it was in there <laughs> it's fine it's you know it's not the same that was more of like a WWE performance than yeah, it was pretty than a actual than a, fight. Yeah, than a fight. Yeah. I mean, he it definitely hurt a little bit, but he was going easy on me, and I, and I was going a little mm. easy on him. He definitely went easy on me. But that's because I told him like two minutes before. I was like, by the way, I've got a blood condition. Don't hit me yeah, too hard. Yeah, I was impressed he did that. <laughs> well, because it was a slap, and I knew I knew he wasn't. We weren't trying to hurt each other because there was no way that you could lose via the slap, right? Because mm, yeah. the idea was yeah. that it was just the chest thing. Mm, yeah. Uh, and the more just give yourself a concussion asking. before the chest thing. You, you you wouldn't get a concussion from being slapped unless so they went full, yeah. like, full well, power. Like, like one of those like fucking moist critical videos. Yeah, where... like, but that's like- <laughs> they, Oh my God, slapped, that shit then, is- Then they're like, oh, they, they, you know, they, they, they turn around to the camera and their face is disformed. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, well, that's- that, That's more than a concussion. <laughs> concussion <laughs> is the last thing they're worrying about in that situation. That's, that's like playing like fucking fear and hunger. It's like, like, oh, it's like, oh, am I actually going to come out of this ring with the same face? Like, that's the thing they're worrying about. It just becomes like a bowling ball. In yeah. Your jaw oh my God, I've seen form. some of those but clips. you survived. Like, yeah. Fucking survived. And, yeah. and now you're fitter for it. And yeah. now you're eating, now you're kind of going back. <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you 